Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So in tunnel mode, the entire packet is encrypted and even the IP address. So they need to place an additional IP address in front. That way it's able to reach its destination. So how this process works is that this user here, let's say they make an internet connection. And now that internet connection all the way to the gateway router is in clear text. So everybody can read the message, the contents, and as it gets encrypted at the gateway router, that's where it adds on that additional IP address. And the first IP address is encrypted with all the data. Now, when it goes through the internet, none of these users are able to read the content. They don't know the destination or end device. They can see the first IP address, but they don't know the destination. Then it gets reaches its destination local area network. And this gateway router has two associated IP addresses and it knows when it receives a message from this IP address to rip off that first IP address and then start to decrypt that packet. And that way they, it knows where to send this uh, internet connection, which is going to user Y. So as it's passing through this local area network, all of this traffic is in clear text or all the users are able to read this traffic. Now in transport mode, it works a little bit differently. The connection gets encrypted at the end user all the way to the other end user. This is where it gets decrypted. So as it's passing through the entire local area network, none of the users on this local area network are able to read that traffic. Now, the attackers here or anybody that's just snooping around and reading these internet packets, these IP packets, are able to see the destination, but they still don't know the contents of that message. This is assuming that it's an ESP, encapsulating security mode which I'll go over in the next slide. So transport mode, ESP, it's encrypted from end user to end user and nobody is able to read the traffic except for the end user. So authentication header, that's when it provides integrity and authentication and it only provides integrity and authentication. So in these last two um, tunnel versus transport, everybody would be able to read everything from tunnel or, or transport if they use the authentication header. Um, but it would let the end user know if any of the information was changed because it provides integrity and authentication. Now the encapsulating security payload, those are the two I just showed you with the transport and tunnel because it encrypts the entire packet and it provides integrity with, authentic uh, with authenticity. You need to know that ESP uses protocol 50 and that authentication header uses protocol 51. So here's how authentication header works. It has the IP address, authentication header, and all of this is in clear text, just like in tunnel mode. So everyone's able to read everything. Now with the ESP mode, uh, in the transport mode, here we have the IP address and all, only this portion of the data is encrypted. However, in tunnel mode, you see that the IP address is encrypted all the way through the data. And then here's the additional IP address that they put in front that everyone's able to read. And the quick summary of transport versus tunnel, that transport mode encrypts the payload at the end device while leaving the original IP header intact. And tunnel mode encapsulates, encrypts the entire original IP packet at the gateway router or firewall. So it's gateway router to gateway router and transport mode is end device to end device.